designs. Today we want to find out how she got into the industry and also how her journey is going along. First and foremost, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. All right, how are you doing? I'm fine. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> you look beautiful, by the way. <laughs> thank you. Should I say you're wearing Miss Eugenia's designs right now? Not really, not this one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, tell me a bit more about your background as a person. As a person, my name is Georgina Smith. Um, I was, I, I come from a family of one. I'm the only child. I lost my both parents. Yes. Um, learning about designing, I actually learned this from my mother. Okay. Yes. Um, I was born here and grew up here in Malawi. Mm -hmm. um, besides doing fashion, I'm studying at University of Lilongwe. Okay. I'm studying early childhood education. All right. Yes. Quite interesting. So that has nothing to do with you designing. No. All right. How did you get the passion so quickly from your mother? Was she a designer as well? Yes, my mother was a designer. Oh. Usually she used to stitch things by hand. She would make me little skirts, tops and blouses. And that's how I got to learn about this whole fashion. All right. Yes. So, so learning is in two ways. Yes. <laughs> was she teaching you how to Not design really. or she you were just watching her watching. doing it? Yes. Okay. I was watching. So what point did you start getting serious with designing? Um, I would say from last of last year. Uh, I did exactly what she was doing with me, uh, stitching things by hand for me and I was doing the same thing for my daughter. So then last year I said to myself, I think I need to get into this because when I, I did few things, people were like, it must be your passion. This is something that you love. Yeah. So then I decided, okay, I have to get myself into this thing. So that's when I decided to buy some sewing machines mm -hmm. and to try and train myself more. And then, yeah, um, since then I've been enjoying it. All right. Yes. I see behind you, just right beside you, you have some sewing machines. Yes. There are other designers who just hire somebody mm -hmm. to sew for them their clothes. They just give them the design. Mm -hmm. How best do you work as a designer? I do design some things myself. Sometimes I use tailors. Okay. Yes, but I enjoy doing it myself very often than using other people. All right. Yes. So there are different designers actually. There are some that love to work with uh, African print material, mm -hmm. the, the cotton. Others love to work with sequin. Mm -hmm. What sort of materials do you love to work with? I use different types of materials. Like you, talk, you, you just talked about African cotton. Uh, African print cotton material. I use organzo material. Okay. I use chiffon material, um, bridal satin materials, and other plain stretch materials. So I use kind of different types of materials. Which one are you more comfortable with and you have fun? Usually I'm comfortable with all of them. All of them. I'm not going to choose one. <laughs> I'm comfortable with all of them because it depends on what you're designing mm. and how you want it to come out. Okay. Yes. All right. Speaking of material, mm. our country has uh, a bit of a downside when it comes to getting good quality material. Mm -hmm. yes. Where do you get your materials? I usually go to Galaxy okay. at Bernie's. But I also go to over the market because mm -hmm. I also want to support African people like me. Okay, yes. interesting. Right behind us, just right here, what sort of material is this if I was to... to, to We're to looking get? at um, a stretch material, which is the top one. Okay. This is a stretch material with a little bit of shiny colors. Mm. And then this is um, organza. Organza. Mm -hmm. All right, it's, so, it's not lace? People would No, this, this is organza. So what's the difference between lace and organza? A lace is very thin okay. material. The organza is a little bit hard from the lace one. Yes, so this is organza material, it's not a lace material. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I never knew that. This is supposed to be a dinner dress or you can wear yes, it Yes, you could own. use it as a dinner dress. So far, uh, that's what I would say. You okay. could use it as a dinner dress. All right. So um, uh, tell me more about your designs. Um, I'm looking at a uh, dinner sort of uh, outfit. Mm -hmm. And right behind you also, the yellow and black sort of looks like a dinner dress as well. Yes. Um, how, what do you, do you do? Like, do you like to just sew uh, dinner dresses or you can also move around with some maybe summer-ish dresses as well? Um, as in all th um, my, my target is in all sorts. Not just dinner dresses, but it could be outgoing dresses to a party. It could be just a, 
something for the weekend okay. so i mean all sorts not just in the dresses interesting yes i like that okay so um since you got seriously um into the um uh, uh fashion industry mm -hmm. um how many showcases fashion showcases have you done so far so far i've participated in one okay. which is hello wafe okay which was done last year amazing yes how was that experience for you very good experience and i enjoyed it so much okay. it was such amazing an experience to to do for the first time and so far i think i enjoyed everything all right yes there are designers some designers that complain that um after they have hired um models mm. they've sewn a lot of uh, material dresses and outfits for for the models and they've gone to showcase but uh, really nothing happened after so say business mm. how was the experience like for you in, t in terms of getting business and getting clients that's a bit challenge. Okay. There's a, a little bit of challenge on there because uh, to explain on my side, since I started my business, I started last year, I think my problem is with, to, due to the pandemic we are facing right now. It, because of this COVID, the business has been so hard. But that cannot discourage me. Yeah. I have taught myself to move on and continue doing the things I love, keep on designing the things I love. I've noted one thing. Yes. You you want to guess what I've noted? What <laughs> is your favorite color black? No. Because <laughs> I was at Halo uh, Wafe, yes. and I remember most of your designs mm. were in the color black. Black and yellow. Black and yellow. Yes. Is that your your signature uh, color? No. I went according to the theme, but the theme they asked is not. It wasn't about the color black and yellow, but because I heard that. Wafi color was yellow and black, mm. so I had to stick by yellow okay. and black and then do the rest with the theme they asked to do. Amazing. Mm. Um, we were going to go back just a little bit. You talked about how business has been very hard mm. because of COVID-19. Mm. Tell me some of the problems that you have been facing, especially, especially you as a designer uh, and somebody that pretty much does everything on her own and sometimes yes. just outsources a teller just mm -hmm. to you know, do that. What sort of problems have you been facing ever since you got into the industry? Uh, ever since I got to this, to start with my business, I think the problems I've been facing, I would say I haven't had, I haven't got clients yet. Okay. So far I have few, I would say about five, which I've started with, which is a big thing to start with mm -hmm. for myself and I'm very happy for that, that I'm being recognized. <laughs> uh, but being that I'm new, okay. I have to, for me to be known, I have to market my business and to make sure that people are able to know the designs I make, the styles I am doing. So it's all about marketing yourself. Okay. Yes, that's, I need, that's what I need to work on right now. Well, that's what you're working on. Mm. Do you have a team um, in Miss Georgina's uh, designs or it's just you? It's alone? just me. All right. Yes. Tell me where you draw all this inspiration from. Um, I'm inspired, first of all, like I said, my mother was my first inspiration. Yeah. And then I've got a cousin, Bruce. Mm. He's also my inspiration because he's one of the designers in the family. And he did quite a lot of shows. Okay. So I got inspired by these, these people. And, but as I go, I love new things. I love learning new things. I need to make new things. Something unique, something that I haven't seen out there. So that you have to be creative mm. when you're trying to, to design or do something, you need to be creative, have yeah. courage and move on. All right, mm. I like that. Speaking of being creative and also having courage, mm. uh, what's your opinion regarding the fashion industry in Malawi? Um, well, if I talk about the fashion industry in Malawi, I think, first of all, we need to support each other for us to move on with this fashion. Secondly, um, I think we lack we lack of education in fashion. So I would suggest we need an education in fashion. We need colleges because we have colleges of different educations that we can go to, but I do not think that we have anything to do with fashion. So if something like that would have would would happen here in this country, I think that would be of helpful to almost everyone who is in, who is in love with into into fashion. All right. Yeah. I like that. Moving forward, where do you see Miss Georgina's designs uh, going? And what do you uh, wish for Georgina's designs to, to, to do in the future? I think um, I'm going to keep on working hard because my aim is to grow big. 
to achieve my goals mm. on the things I want. Okay. So I think I'm going to keep going. Okay. Yeah. Speaking of goals, is there any specific goal that Miss Regina's designs is looking for? A I think it should that be you, you, it should be like everyone's wish yeah. and everyone's dream. So my dream is to make sure that my fashion is known to the world. Okay. To make sure that the name is out there, mm -hmm. my brand name is out there. All right. And not just the brand name, I have to do my own styles, mm -hmm. my own designs, mm -hmm. you know, to bring something unique, mm -hmm. something different to make something new. All right. Mm -hmm. Speaking of something unique and very different, mm -hmm. what makes Miss Georgina's designs are different from any other design that we have in the country? I think, like I said, the name, okay. my name is Georgina's Designs. Yeah. I think it, it, it this will, it, it's unique because I feel like I need to make my own new styles, my own styles, my own designs. So that's what makes it unique okay. for me. All yes, right. because what I'm, I'm trying to, to say is like when I design something, I want that design to speak itself, you know, into the uh, world of fashion. Mm. It has to show itself. It has to speak to the people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Speaking of, it has to show itself. We're still gonna go back to this yes. dress that we have over here. You you talked about this is a stretchy material. Yes. That's this it. one, I uh, said less, and you said this is organza. 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 And what are these things that you have here? Um, these decorations that you have here. Embellishments. These are one of the details that you add on to something when you design something mm -hmm. you add them on to make that something look beautiful attractive okay so they're called embellishments embellishments mm. interesting all right and also that material behind us the yellow one shortly we're going to invite the model that you have for us yes uh, maybe let's just take a look at the material that she has and also the design that you did mm -hmm. on her let's talk about the one that you have right behind you the black and yellow mm -hmm. dress is that also organza material no that's a chiffon material and a plain black material Okay, so all of them look the same for me. <laughs> Organza, that's a chiffon material, yes. and then there is less material. Yes. Um, the three of them. Mm -hmm. Organza, you said is a bit tough, rough. This is Organza. Okay. It's you. The the different types. This is a bit softer. Okay. And then there's a tough one as well. Okay, the tough one is still Organza. Yes. Okay. And then the less is very soft. Usually the less are usually soft. Okay. Very soft, softer than this. Mm. Yes. So the one you're looking at the behind me, the yellow and black, mm. is a chiffon material. Chiffon mixed with a stretchy material, stretched. Or cotton. Um, not really stretched. It should be between cotton and stretch kind of material, but it's just a, a black material. But it's not that stretch. Okay. It stretch a little bit, not much. All right. Mm. That's interesting. I'm so interested to just find out a bit more about this mm. material. How do you know that this material is going to go well with the stretchy um, material that you have on top there? Um, can you also use the same material on that dress? Yes. Depending, like I said, depending on what you're designing, okay. that's where a designer is no. very creative there because you look at something when you're planning or designing something to to make. You think, okay, first of all, other people do this. Okay. Okay, you match. It, would this and this go together? All right, would the chiffon still go? Mm -hmm. well? okay. Yes, so I think when I was making this, I had to think at the time it was being made. Mm -hmm. I was thinking at, this, at the time, thinking, okay, what do I need to add on to this kind of material? What do I attach to make it look more beautiful? Okay. So immediately I came with this two different types of materials. Okay. Mm. All right. What sort of body types do you work with? Do you work with um, models that are a bit uh, smaller or are you comfortable working with all sizes? I'm comfortable with working all sizes. Okay. Yes. I'm quite interested to see the dress that your model is wearing. Um, let, right. Let's also talk about the material sure. that she's wearing and how also um, you got to make that dress. Okay. Yeah, already? Sure, yes. Amazing. All right, welcome back, and our model is here. Firstly, just tell us your name. Eta Chira. Eta Chira. How do you feel in this fabulous dress? Well, it's good. I feel comfortable in it. You feel comfortable? Yeah. Okay. Um, so tell us a bit more about this now, the material that you have used, and the decorations. These ones are kind of seem similar with this black dress yes. behind me. Yes. Yeah. Talk, uh, tell me more about this dress. Um, this black dress is made out of... Um, 
bridal satin. Okay. This is a kind of a bit tough bridal satin. Okay. Yes. So what you're looking here, these are rings. These are curtain rings, by the way. Oh, actually, yes. I, I was wondering where, where, where I've seen these before. They're curtain rings. So I had to come up with something different, something unique that mm. I haven't seen anywhere else. So mm. I thought very carefully and then I attached the curtain rings to it, which made it look very more uh, more beautiful mm -hmm. and these are like i already said these are embellishments okay which we the detail details that we add into the dress when we design mm -hmm. that makes it look more very beautiful or attractive amazing so, yeah. now remember that question i asked you if black is your favorite color i thought the model will come in a red or something <laughs> she's wearing <laughs> black as well tell me a bit more about the, the inspiration behind this dress I think um, with the way she is, if you're looking at the pattern and the, the body mm. of the, the model mm. and the pattern that I designed, it actually suits her very well. Yeah. So first of all, when you're designing something, you look at a pattern and you look at the body mm. and then the pattern of the body and then the fabric, the kind of fabric you want to use for, for something that you're trying to design. Okay. So yes. All right. Can you please turn around for us? Let's just see how the bag looks like. All right, beautiful. It's not so complicated and yeah. like the front, you can turn back around. Interesting. So you just deal with anything that comes to your mind, you can anything attach it to a, dress, to, my mind. to a dress. If someone was to wear this, where would they wear this to? Uh, I think usually at the dinner or okay. at any show. All right. Mm -hmm. Event show. Mm -hmm. So we, when, we, when I say event show, I'm talking about like night event show. Red we're carpet, not talking about, sort of. We're not talking about a wedding. Okay. So mm -hmm. not, the, not during the day, but you can have this on at a dinner mm -hmm. or event shows like... Uh, the one that you, you did yes. just showcasing. Yes. Oh, interesting. All right, thank you so much, our model. Just um, tell us, you said already you feel comfortable. It's not a heavy material for you? No, it's not. Because black is a very hot color. Yeah, this one's just okay. All right, it's just okay. I'm seeing something um, underneath the dress. My apologies. This now. <laughs> Here. Okay. For you to add on this, this is called a... It's a, it's a hard knit. It's a hard knit. Which makes the dress to... to um, Okay, to, to give look that like a ball gown. All right, to give that fi fish yes. feeling. Mm -hmm. so, okay, all right. So this is what they put inside a dress. If yes. you've seen a puffy dress, yes, they put those things inside. Yes, to have a ball gown kind of dress. So they add on that. All right, mm. interesting. This is a beautiful dress, by the way. Thank you. All right, thank you so much. And uh, maybe our model, thank you so much as well for dressing up. We we'll would love to see you out somewhere in this. <laughs> yeah, we'll sure. In Very this soon. dress. <laughs> So we are looking at a different material now. Yes. This is African print material, mm -hmm. and that's mixed with, let me guess, chiffon. Chiffon. Okay. You're right. <laughs> I'm getting it now. Yes. Tell me um, what brought about this idea of this dress. Um, for me to design this dress, mm. actually I designed it for her. Okay. Specifically for Yeah, because it fits her perfectly. Yes. yes. She had a show, I think at UMP Awards last mm. year. Okay. So she asked me to design her a dress, mm. so I had to come up with something different. All right. Uh, so I used this African purple kind of uh, cotton material, African print cotton material, mm. adding with um, the chiffon. So okay. I was uh, aiming on the purple color. Oh, uh, yeah. That was what I wanted to to match with. All right. So although this is not ex the exact color we're looking at, but it's, but it's, it's, it's blending. really blending so well. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can this material go well with the organza material? Yes, it can go well with the organza material. I think organza material, we also have different colors. So depending on what colors you want to use. So right. I can use an organza material with this color. Okay. Or I can find a organza material that has a, at least something purple in it okay so yeah all right mm. this is beautiful Thank as you. well we have seen that you're very diverse you've worked with us uh, the the chiffon you've uh, told us about the organza material now we're looking at african print material yes. which is very nice you, you look so beautiful much. by the way this is a very lovely dress thank you all right thank you so much Maybe moving forward, for someone that wants to get into this industry, mm -hmm. what message would you uh, give them or just an advice? Uh, my advice to the women is um, if they love doing fashion, if they're into fashion, I think it's time for them to have the courage to get up and do the things they love. Mm -hmm. Because in doing fashion, it's not about 
the only person who knows fashion. Some people are born with the 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 knowledge yeah. of of making you know clothes, designing yeah, and design. making clothes and stuff like that. Yeah. So like like me, I learned it from my mother. Yeah, like the first time I explained, yeah. I used to watch my mom doing these things. So I think women or or men can also do this. It's, it doesn't have to. It, it's a gender equality. Okay. It doesn't have to be a man or a woman only. Mm. But we both can do this. Okay. So I think my advice to the women is get up and do it. All right. Do the things you love. Do it. Amazing. Yeah. So for someone that wants to get in touch with you, um, wants you to make them a dress or an outfit, where yes. can they find you? Um, they can look up on me on Instagram, Facebook. I've got a Facebook page. I've got Instagram and also my number okay. is uh, 0009. 854 2095. All right. Yes. Okay. So be quick, write that down, <laughs> and then you can get yourself a Miss Georgina's design. Thank you so much for having us uh, today. Thank we you. appreciate you, and we have learned a couple of things. Myself, I didn't know that there was chiffon or ganza and some other material you mentioned. Yes. Yeah, I didn't know that actually. So thank you so at much least for. you've learned something. Yeah, I have. <laughs> All right. And I hopefully some people as well at home have uh, learned some exactly. something today. Mm. All right. Thank Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. That has been our program today on Top Styles with Miss Georgina's Designs. If you want to get a hold of her, uh, she has given us her phone number. We have learned a couple of things today. Until next time on another day and another fashionista, my name is Priscilla Kaira. Goodbye.